Okay, welcome back. Our favorite Belgian firearms manufacturer is at it again, this time announcing an all new nine millimeter platform, the FN Hyper, filled with patented innovative features. FN named it as a nod to the past with the Hyper sharing the same grip angle as the legendary FN High Power at 18 degrees. Hyper also looks to the future with Hyper standing for high performance. So let's start with the slide magazine release because these features are quite ingenious. On most pistol platform, the slide stop or slide release is actuated by pushing the thumb up when racking the slide to the rear to lock it, or by reaching over the top of the release with the thumb to release the slide and send a round into battery. FN has changed the angle and form of the slide stop slide release by moving it farther to the rear of the frame and placing it in an extremely ergonomic location. For the magazine release, FN placed the ambidextrous levers directly behind the trigger guard. When one side is actuated, the other side does not reciprocate, so they operate completely independently of each other while remaining truly ambidextrous. This helps ensure no accidental magazine releases occur. Furthermore, instead of a traditional push-in release, FN has mounted this release with a sliding obtuse angled release. The sheer elegance of this design places pistol manipulations within the shooting grip palm of the hand and therefore no braking at any time of the shooting grip is necessitated. Genius. Honestly, if we stopped there, it would be enough to be a game changer, but there's more. Similarly to what we have been seeing in more Bubitz designed pistols, I'll link that video in the description card above, the slide to frame and backplate fitments are flush to prevent ingress of materials. Extensive rigorous testing was carried out by FN involving mud, sand, and even unlubricated function, and the Hyper passed all with flying colors. Individual parts, in addition, were torture tested for individual part life, in addition to the complete total platform function testing, which is interesting. The guts of the Hyper are innovative as well. Footage of the Lara Tactical YouTube channel guy firing the Hyper makes their low bore axis and reduced recoil claims seem very believable. It appears to be a very flat shooting pistol with a nice undercut trigger guard. The reduced beaver tail looks like it allows the shooter's hand very high in the frame, but if you look closely it makes me wonder if you could get up too high and get slide bite easily. Uh, the attention to the ergonomics, I'm sure, making this a very nice shooting pistol as well as the engineering design. A unique firing mechanism includes a two-spring, yes I said two-spring firing pin. FN says it increases reliability for all sorts of 9mm ammo. I couldn't find a photo that had a closer look or a schematic, but it sounds intriguing. I guess you can look at it in two ways. It's more reliable or there's more parts to fail. I guess time will tell. The trigger is curved and has machine serrations on the trigger face. Trigger pull weight is reported by Lara Tactical at about five and a half pounds of the long take up. Take up and over travel are however adjustable so FN did plan for the user to be able to tweak the trigger to their preferences which is very nice. Ergonomics were given close attention by the design team as I mentioned at the beginning it has a high power grip angle. Apparently they gave the different grip angle frames to a number of users to test and they had uh, consent that came back that the traditional high power 1911 grip angle was what users preferred. Um, it also has a substantial palm swell in the rear of the grip, texturing where you need it, including more aggressive lines at the front and rear of the grip, which is the most important place for shooting a pistol. Magazine is 15 round polymer and cuts are included at the bottom of the grip frames for stripping errant stuck magazines. The Hyper comes standard with three dot white suppressor height sights. It's red dot ready, has slide serrations front and rear as you would guess, and a Picatinny rail for lights, lasers, etc. It comes in a very sharp FDE in black at the moment, which leads us to the sad part of this video. While FN has this on their international website and it's now available to law enforcement and military in various countries, it has not yet been released in the US and there is no hard and fast date for a US release. Instead, we got the FN 509 midsize tactical. And by the way, all of this information I relayed comes from the extremely thorough and impressively produced Lara Tactical's YouTube video on the FN Hyper as well as the FN website. 
Any photos with a watermark in this video are Lara Tacticals, as are any short video clips. I will include a link below to their YouTube channel as well as to their video in English on the Hyper. So what say you? Is this a Stryker 9mm you can finally get excited about? Would you buy this if it came to the States? So what do you think about their new slide and magazine releases? Do you see any potential issues or is this going to be the new standard, the new gold standard in a few years? Please drop your comments below. I'm very much looking forward to hearing from you on this one. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my links in the description below for Patreon and Teespring. This all helps the channel and helps me produce these videos. Thanks for joining me in the journey. LW Road, out.